All right, y'all. Y'all remember in the beginning of the case, and sometimes it still pops up, but folks were trying to say that Kanika witnessed a murder, and they were trying to say that it was young Pappy's murder. So what I'm going to show is this is where Teresa's house was. Now, we don't know exactly where Kanika was living, but I'm just trying to give everybody an idea of distance. This is where young Pappy was killed. And to give you an idea of the distance, this is where the hotel, Crown Plaza is, Rosemont. So, yeah, that is a little closer, but it still gives you a good idea of what it would take for her to travel in such a way. Because this was in 2015, May of 2015. So, she didn't, it wasn't like she could just hop in her own car and take off and go. But let's check into the story of young Pappy's death and see if there is a connection with Kanika. All right, let me see this. Was the date? May 29th, 2015. Shaquan Young Pappy. There he is. Northside rapper who was targeted, who was the target of at least two fatal shootings in Roger Park in recent years, was gunned down Friday morning in Uptown. Authorities said two bullets in the back killed 20 year old Shaquan Thomas, aka Young Pappy while he was standing in the 4800 block of North Kenmore Avenue at about 1.30 a.m. Friday. Witnesses told police that a tiny black four-door car was dri driving west on Lawrence Avenue with its rear driver's side door open. After passing Kenmore Avenue, the driver hit the brakes, reversed east down Lawrence, and turned into Kenmore before stopping. That's when a thin man in a gray hoodie was seen sprinting to the car and getting in, he said. Thomas was taken to Illinois Masonic Medical Center where he was pronounced dead at 2.04 a.m. Nobody else was injured in the shooting that appears to be gang-related. The high-profile rapper has been shot at before, according to police officials. Now, if they already have witnesses, plural, why would they be worried about just Kanika? And if you'll remember, during this time, Kanika was, um, getting pregnant, basically. I don't think she's worried about young Pappy. Next. Alright, this is young Pappy's younger brother, they call him Taysap. No? Like, how old were you when you lost, like, an actual friend of yours? Like, when was, you know, like, someone that you really messed with on a, on a regular basis just got killed? I think I was, like, 12 or 13, going on 14. In 2012, Pooh Bear, like my homie Pooh Bear had that, and then after that, another close friend of mine named Two Cups, he died in 2013, you know. And then after that, it was just at that pace, you know. Uh, one friend, two friends, three friends a year, you know. Crappy kill crappy, man. I told y'all niggas that. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, yeah, PBG kill crappy, though, man. They put a battery in his back. Set the boy up for failure. Now watch me tie some shit together. So, 
anyway, the my little brother running in the southern. So while he gone, uh, the police investigating and shit. Right. Now there's a nigga out there that's from Goontown, his name DeAndre Boozer. Okay, that's from, from Zach TV Zoo. From Zach TV Zoo. Okay. It's all gonna tie in together in a second. So my little brother get extradited back to Chicago to go to court. Right. Um Boozer takes the stand on my little brother. So my little brother get his little time with Boozer disappears off the face of the earth. Nobody ever see Boozer again into the night that Zach got killed. Zach got killed and Boozer got shot the same night. And the rest, you can just tie it in how you want to tie it. But that's where all of this shit came from. Where they at, bro? I'm on the work, bro. Where they at? Nigga can't say it, y'all. Where you at? I'm on the work. Nigga, where you at? I'm on y'all shit. Walking. Okay. Head north on North Ashland Boulevard toward West Farwell Avenue. Walking through that shit, boy. Big bird, where they at? Where them boys at? PBGK, where them boys at? Fuck you talking about? Right onto West Farwell Avenue. Big Dirty, where them boys at, man? Big Dirty, I never said buddy ass out here. Some nigga made red. What the fuck? He not out here. I'm on Morris Ave. And the nigga who say he killed Pappy say he out here. But I'm out here. And he ain't out here. So nigga, you a bitch. Fuck him up. Now, a lot of folks will say that Happy's personality, if you will, is what got him killed. He loved to disrespect others. And that there are so many possible suspects to blame for his murder. But here's an example of his personality. He ain't on nothing. He ain't on nothing. Ain't like a merchant. That got one of the L's right there. Down now. Come here, shorty. Come here, shorty. It's Pappy. It's Pappy. It's Pappy. Bring that ass here. Bring that ass here. On this ass, bro. Two cups. All right, I can't tell you whether he's guilty or not. Who's guilty or not, should I say? But I can tell you and show you the original case incident report, which will show the victims and the witnesses. So. Says here, May 29th, 2015, 137 in the morning. Gang related incident. One offender. That's the address. It's on the sidewalk. Shaquan Thomas, which is Pappy. 20 years old. Five foot nine hundred sixty pounds. We 
is the victim. Then we have a witness, this 52-year-old white male. Another witness, 33-year-old white female. I don't think neither one of those fits Kanika's description. Injury extent, fatal. Suspect is was using a weapon. The description of the suspect is between the age of 15 to 30 years old. Black male, 110 to 180 pounds. Woohoo! He's a member of the Gangster Disciples by admission. Let's read the little bit that we can get out of this report. It says, They dispatched a call of a person being shot on 4800 block of Kenmore. Upon arrival, they observed the victim, known as a self-admitted gangster disciple, gang member from the Insane Cutthroat Gang, which is also PBG. Pooh Bear Gang. A frequent associate of the Lawrence and Winthrop GD set. Shaquan Thomas. Laying in the grass next to the sidewalk, unresponsive, with multiple gunshot wounds to the back. EMS immediately ordered the victim was transported to Illinois Masonic Hospital, where he was pronounced at 2.04 in the morning. During the field investigation, the witnesses blank related that blank was traveling with blank on Lawrence and Winthrop when she observed a newer model, very shiny black four-door vehicle traveling in reverse on Lawrence from Kenmore with the rear driver's side door open. Blank's vehicle then reversed directions and went eastbound on Lawrence and then northbound on Kenmore. Still with the rear door, driver's side door open. Blank pulled up to the intersection of Lawrence and Kenmore. Blank heard multiple gunshots and observed a black male, thin built, wearing possibly a gray sweatshirt with blue jeans running towards said vehicle, which was parked with its rear driver's side door op still open. Blank said vehicle then drove in reverse southbound on Lawrence, went eastbound on Lawrence, and then southbound through the alley between Sheridan and Kenmore. They observed multiple shell casings on the scene, and then it starts naming off which officers were assigned to do what specific task. And there you got it. 